<laughs> that was a quick load. Damn. In 2002, the U.S. Army formed a secret unit. What da -da. was it? It was called ISIS, and it was started by Obama. Oh, my God. No, Obama <laughs> literally created ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the sense, he's the founder of ISIS. Wait, that's, no, 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 no. The game's called F-E-A-R. What does that mean? It's like a funny fart joke. Oh. Sierra Entertainment presents a Joshua Tomar production. Joshua this is the Josh, Tomar. This is the song Joshua Tomar hears when takes you to listen to his shit. Every time I'm on the toilet, every time, I hear no, every this time song. You, every time you're done shitting, you look down at the toilet bowl, you hear this song. Josh, that's literally you, surrounded by crows. And all that's in the toilet is dust. <laughs> oh my god, those fucking tiles look photorealistic. I could grab those and take a bite of them, if I were there. He just cooned. Squirted. <laughs> I'm still not over the word coom. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go. Let's skip this fucking bullshit. Whoa. Yes. What do you think those graphs mean? It's the amount of uh, duty feces in the sewers. <laughs> I wish you could reach out and kiss that guy in the head. This the guy? Ball cap. No, the ball cap. That guy? Yeah, that character. What about her? Ah. Oh. Uh, she's not my type. No, thank you. Yeah, she's too blurry and gone. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the main bad guy. The light? Yeah. Is, is that the Pixar light? Isn't He's the he, main bad guy? And that's Gordon Freeman. This is the guy this is the guy that paints Woody up, repairs him. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's ASMR. Holy shit. Oh my god! Oh, this guy's our partner! Okay. Okay, so I have to uh, infiltrate target site from two entry points and attempt to neutralize Fatal. Okay. You the what? Go and walk in the line because this is a track shooter. It's not a fucking track it's shooter. It's not a track shooter, but it's pretty linear. Oh my god, these controls are so weird. Shift is aim down sights. Right click is smack him with is your whack gun. the character. I actually know nothing about this game. So what are you? What are you attacking? What are you fighting? Uh, there's like like a fucking scary man yeah. who's like got powers. Oh he's, yeah, he's like psychically controlling this army of soldiers. This is explicitly like a horror game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's fucking insane. This is uh I mean it's definitely an FPS too. Yeah. But this was uh this was a cool game for its time. Oh my god. Oh my That's oh. pretty fucking amaze balls for even for today's standards. <laughs> amaze balls is another one that I'll never accept into the vernacular. <laughs> you uh, just did, you just said it. Uh, Yo man, I need to enter this building. I need to come in now. Oh that's very very nice. That's very oh! Okay. Oh. Open doors. The okay. programmers thought of everything. They thought of the bottle, the fire, even the, the rat. rat. <laughs> oh, you get the shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> that was all the rage was the bullet time. I mean, it's fun. I've always liked it ever since Max Payne. X. Oh my God, what the fuck are these controls? Whoa. Hey, bro. What took you so long? It's like a, a it's like a Disneyland ride. <laughs> Ronde Rondez Vaus with Jankowski. Is that a, a sperm? It is a big fucking delicious sperm. That's a wonderful little <laughs> sperm. Just sitting there waiting to be slurped up like spaghetti. See, that's fun. That's fun stuff. What? Eating sperm? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, wait, this is getting kind of scary. Yeah, the toilets are really I'm, I'm starting to hear some noises. <sighs> How terrified are you, Toma? Oh. Should yeah, I just should be the it? rat hunter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. in my college dorm oh, he got away. recording a whole like horror soundscape. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him! <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? No, we recorded like all I recorded and like mixed down a whole horror soundscape just for me whispering like Chris, can you grab that and, hammer and kill and a mouse Just like it? whispering into a microphone. <laughs> Chris, and then, can you grab that? No. I wish you could kill a mouse with that hammer because it did move a second ago. Oh, you can lean. 
Ooh. You look, you can move it. That's pretty. That's. I bet if you could fucking hit that at a certain angle, you could hit it, make it fall into a mouse. Okay, I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> this is we're the game. We one hour doing this. I just push T and I could say things like, say, it's like, like it's just, multiplayer. Just, just say mouse. Mouse. <laughs> the mouse didn't respond, Zach. What if you started smiling on screen? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tomar, so you made us a horoscope? Yeah, like a sound thing, like for a haunted house that we we made our dorm into a haunted house, and uh -huh. a bunch of the local elementary school students came through. That, that sounds, sounds cool. very problematic. So it's very like a uh, cis centric. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Can you, can, you, can you explain that viewpoint? Um, because haunted houses are a Western capitalist idea. Um, so yep, <laughs> that's about that. I'm scared. But what if someone's ha house became haunted in in the East? Yeah, the U.S. is how most households are haunted by capitalism. Sorry to tell you, this, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Space to jump. Why not just push that table out of the way? Oh, sort so of a weird reaction to jump over Can't you over see it. that the wheels are not even on anymore? Can't you see that? Oh my god. Somebody's, Number somebody's five. Li somebody's literally li laying Okay, the that scared me. There was a ghoul, I think. That was Tespookors. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> go say, go say hey. <laughs> Why would you say hey? <laughs> I'm scared. Hey! C for coom. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. <laughs> That was a baby crying. Can you just funny. open the door? Yeah, I was. That was just a little joke. For it th makes me <laughs> laugh when a baby cries and screams. Check this out. It's called chair physics. Yes. Did you ever see that video of DSP trying to play f uh, fucking? Uh, I don't miss those half chairs. Life. <laughs> what do you mean? The the those kinds of chairs are like the ones you'd have at school. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're incredibly comfortable. Or at like a church or shoot in, the padlock. What were you saying about TS DSP? DSP, DSP uh, once for like one hour tried to get past the part in like uh, Half Life where you're supposed to just like do a certain kind of like high jump, uh -huh. and he spent like an hour like stacking shit up to get over this very <laughs> easy platform. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh, oh, is that a ghoul? is that a little ghoul? That's See, my how, little... Co how come that guy's Whoa. physically capable of moving his shelf? Because he's fucking ripped it. He goes to the gym and he does uh, all the days, and he does a lot. He eats a lot of protein. Shit, this is scary he's stuff. He's got a low carb diet. There's some scary stuff happening. Wait, wait, wait oh. Uh, oh, he dissolved. Yeah, that He's just happened. He's been smoking too much. Hey, gamers, that just happened. Hello, hello. Ah. Downstairs. This is the voice of the Hillary Clinton's head. <gasps> I don't do well with gore. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask him for this to be blurred out. I love IHOP jelly too. Just leftovers. I have jelly. Why I have jelly? Why not just jelly? I jelly. <laughs> Why not just regular jelly? This guy loves I have. <laughs> you get the French vanilla coffee there for three dollars. What a steal! Oh my gosh, you've been to I have just as much as me. I haven't gone there in a while. Besides, I went to one with you a couple days ago. Oh, there was. Who was, who was that? I saw. I saw a character outside there. Last time I was at I have, there was this uh, old woman who had most of her hair missing, and she walked over to me and she she said something. I was looking at the menu, and she said something like, Menu too. <laughs> she said my hair is on the menu too. <laughs> I, I, I literally went, <laughs> but then she looked mad that I laughed. Like I, like I, I couldn't understand her, so I laughed at whatever she said. She, but probably, she, looked, she probably said my husband died in 2002. <laughs> 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 probably. Chris, you want to tell the story about uh, the very small story about when we were at a hop like a couple days ago, and I, I made a little Indian laugh. Oh yeah, um, we were at IHOP, it's three of us, and then, uh, fucking the, the Indian, uh, guy came over, like, the waiter, and he was like... <laughs> yeah, not just a regular Indian guy, like, it was the guy who fucking... Yeah, it was wasn't, it wasn't, wait, 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 I'm just gonna get this out of the way, I know there's... Ah! <laughs> Tomo just shot, sprayed octopus <laughs> ink everywhere. No, but... I'm the easiest to scare, I'm but sure. Man's name wait a minute. Charles Haberger. Hamburger? Did he just say Charles Hamburger? Did he really say that? I think that? he did. Charles Hamburger. Is it Neil Hamburger a comedian's name? <laughs> Neil. I think it's an actual comedian's name. Neil Hamburger. Like, like that a sounds character. right. This is, a, this is a cool voice. I always feel like this one could. I remember that. But you must survive so you can play through my you game. You must kiss me upon my chipsy. <laughs> no, but, uh, so, okay, we're at IHOP. Uh, we're, we're all done with our meals, all three of us. Then the Indian waiter comes over and he says, I don't know why it's race matters, but alright. 
because it was it, it, it was funny how he said it. He was literally yes. like, "We want me to split it three ways," and you were like, "Huh, th three ways, like 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 sex." Huh? <laughs> and then he went, "Ah, yes." Yeah, he loved it. He fucking loved it. He got a he had a big fucking big Cheshire cat smile across yeah, his face. Yeah, he, he had a big Joker smile. He had a big genuine smile across his face. He loved every second of it. It was awesome. It was definitely a feel good moment of the yeah. year. That was like the end of a movie. That was like I don't know. <laughs> My guess, he thought you were like like some frat boy type, and he was just smiling. So you no 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 no. Chris was there. It was a, he actually thought it was really cool. No yeah. no no no. He no. thought it was sweet. No, he, he, wanted, did, he did actually. He like wanted it. that tip. I think you guys were just you you were too deep in the moment. No, he definitely was obsessed. No, with he, he, has, he went home and he blogged about it. It was awesome. <laughs> he's going to his wife. He's like, "There's Resident Three, and she went, "Oh my god." He went on his YouTube channel, IHopWaiter.org, and then he posted the video. He said, "This is fucking funny." But he blurred out the. I don't know why they're making me sound like I'm an Indian man. I was. <laughs> born in Connecticut, but it was a cool story nonetheless. I'm just a regular black guy from Connecticut, but I'm whatever. Not even, I'm not even Indian. I don't know why they're saying that. <laughs> I'm Cherokee. No clue what they're talking about. You do realize this motion blur is a very cool effect, you right? Let's look away. I can't look at that. Some people <laughs> even think that it, a humanoid figure was under the lab coat. As you can but see, not, the humanoid figure looks very you, pissed off you and angry. You can't really tell, though. Because you haven't seen its face, so you maybe it is just a doll. You can't tell what it is, but you can tell it's got a very strong muscular structure underneath the robe. Okay, um, what's that guy's name? Top 15? Ch yeah, or Chills is his name. I want to see a video chills. called Top 15 Times When Chills Was Fucking Crazy. Number one, the time he thought a moth landed on a car that was 20 times bigger. <laughs> Number three, the time my mommy took my video game away and I threatened to beat him with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could literally make top 15 times Chills was fucking nuts. Dude, that video, it's a CGI moth flies over the ground. He goes, I'm not sure if it's real or CGI. Of course it's fucking CGI. Do you get the That'd be over CNN. That would stop all the news. That's the Trump news would leave the news for a whole month if a giant moth came from the earth and landed on the SUV. Of there course. was also the one, the guy in England where he's like running away from a bunch of fans. He's like, number 15, the time this this vlogger, or what is he, a streamer? He's a the guess. IRL streamer ran from his life when he was attacked by a he group of fans. He seems panicked. He not, cannot, not, yeah. he, he's clearly running for his life. <laughs> no, he's not. He's happy. He's got a big smile you on his face. You can tell by the intense breathing that he feared for his life in this very moment. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. I need a search area for signs of enemy soldiers. And hey, get out of here! So I used to jump off that sort of ski down. <laughs> <laughs> city, yeah, city escapes that would actually fight. be really scary. Oh, yeah. I, I want that. a game full of like chaos like that. It's like a schizophrenic made the game. You know what? I fucking hate you. Really? Once I think of that song, it's going to be stuck in my head for weeks now. Will you run the speed of hell? Gotta follow my rainbow. I wanted to hire Jason Page to sing that, but with awful, stupid lyrics instead and see if anyone would notice. When oh, we played it for like, Sonic like, Adventure 2. Just like make up fucking uh, <laughs> lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he would do it. He'd totally be down. He's a great guy. Yeah, With Jason the Page, the guy that did Jason, the did you call Pokemon. Jason the Page. Jason the, yeah, Jason he's not, the Page. He's not a fucking uh, he's a cartoon page. character. He's real. <laughs> Jason, he's, he's the guy that sang the Pokemon theme, yeah. right? Okay. And also, and, also and, the, and the Hellbenders. Yes. Uh, Silent Night. Silent yes. Night. Yes. Man, am I going Ted right way? No, I don't think I am. Okay, let's go. This is the right way over I knew that, here. I knew, that, I knew that that was the case. Check this out. You can actually in enter crawl mode. Oh, you know what? I meant to do that. <laughs> dun, dun. Oh my god. What is this? That looks like a reflex booster according to the on-screen text. Oh, is that permanent? That'd be nice. Come on. What do you do? Oh, it does say it's permanent. An old, an old hag. An old fucking witch. Gives you an envelope. Yeah, Tomer. Yeah. And then she runs away, cackling like with wh which like, like what, what would my very next action be no, after wait, that? But oh, wait, sorry, there's, sorry. No, there's, there's more to this. Don't worry. I know you want to open that. You want to tear that envelope open. <laughs> I'm that a leaguer. <laughs> you open it up and you find a paper clip. <laughs> in the in the very PizzaGate symbol. What do you do, Tomer? What's the Pizzagate symbol look like? The pedophile, like? it's the national pedophile. Yeah, I, just, I just want to know, just for It's for, the common ping pong pizza symbol. Yeah, it looks like the logo from Heart of Darkness, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Alright. So what do you do with that? Um... I, <laughs> so I've just opened an envelope. 
and <gasps> what, what the fuck? What is that? Ah, uh, ah, ah. What happened to these little men? Ah. Well, I guess, uh, rendezvous with Jed Gunskis. Sorry I suck at hypotheticals, Zach. Toby, that's you after you accept the Pizzagate symbol and you're busted by the alt-right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's after Paul Joseph Watson's done with you. That's your that's your final red pill, Tomar. Joshua Tomar is an idiot. <laughs> Would you panic if, if you saw a video from, like, like InfoWars just called Joshua Tomar? I your, will, your, yes! Your, yeah, that would be <laughs> fucking scary. Your, 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 that would the, be horrifying. The, the, thumb, the thumbnail was your face and your address was in the, was in the description. I, I would- Whoa. I would consider- I would consider my life to be in danger. <laughs> it's not even scary because it's info- it's scary because there's a huge organization just fucking docks you, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Put you front and center. You know, it sucks. This place fucking sucks, there's dead people and stuff. Oh, this is like in Jackass 2 when they fling the guy at the door. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh. Ah! Use your slow mos I did, see? Ah! This is fun. They need reinforcements. You're not gonna get any, you pussies. Stop whining. Get out of here, you bunch of ass... ass hats. I'm not gonna stand for this. I will be bullied in my own home. <laughs> this is not my own home. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. How, how did, just how? Oh, that peeves me as a gamer. That's oh. just broken physics. Why can't I look at that as, as, a, as, a as a gamer? <laughs> as a gamer, I cannot stand to look at that. As a gamer, this just really peeves me. I refuse, I just boycott. This truck is clearly not even photoreal. That is fucking pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> oh fuck, he was hiding! <laughs> That's scary. So, th so these essentially aren't game. These are essentially real people trapped in the game world. Guys, you should be watching this with your lights turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And your volume turned up. Very and also, high. Uh, listen to this audio and then loop that for two hours straight while you're listening. Can to this. we make our own hellscape? Yeah. Let's just Let's all start whispering it. bullshit, and then the editor can add reverb and then put it over a okay, scary God, moment. Okay, yeah. Well, stop, stop reverb for one second. Then you go, fuck, that was the scary scape. The official 2018 scary scape. That's the goblin scape. The goblin charge you with the big axe. Who the F is making all this ruckus? Oh my there's god! Some, there's some boys. Shut up! I'm gonna ask you to quad to oh. pipe down. Did you- are you getting up? Don't get up. Okay. Oh my god, Nas. Guys, I really don't want to die in this video. Oh my fucking Go ahead and leave a thumbs up on for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and do that just for me. Can I? Can I actually use? I've got a bunch of these. How do I use uh. those? H for elf. Oh fuck. That's not good. Someone's looking for me. I fucking love when SNL makes fun of Fortnite and does like Fortnite cool. cool I fucking Fortnite. saw that. That was so cool. Did that? Wait. I love what? when SNL does cool Fortnite references for all the fucking <laughs> seventy-two real, years. That's real. That's real. It's real. They yeah. really did that. Yeah, they did a cool Fortnite uh, rep thing for all the fucking sixty-five-year-olds out there who watch SNL. Is every time I watch it, I'm like, this is worse than a parody on like. On YouTube, you're yeah. you actually no, you are getting like the worst oh my stuff. Oh god. They do parodies where it's like, it's like when The Simpsons does like. Like when they make fun of Pokemon, it's like you Pokemon Go. It's like you guys really don't know what you're even making fun of. Yeah, it's like the movie Spaceballs. We were talking about this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it's just a really basic, really fucking basic. Like, oh, uh, uh, 
It, 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 somebody doesn't even understand why the thing's popular. They just took like a cursory glance. It's like, we need, <laughs> we need to make you a parody of Star Wars. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> Scrolling text. Uh, this guy is called Jabba the Hutt. Oh, Pizza the Hutt. <laughs> no one will think of that one. Uh... <laughs> I fucking love that. No, I, uh, I love Mel Brooks. Me too, but I hate Spaceballs. I, 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 yeah, I space I'm balls, right there with you. Spaceballs, should, in my opinion, sucks. In yeah. my personal opinion. I remember watching that and getting really angry. Just John how Candy's funny it was. a fucking dog. It's like a parody of Chewbacca. It's like, shh, ugh. Um, what was I going to say? I, I love that picture of the... Like, why would they be doing this when they could be fetching Pokemon creatures? You know that yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I posted it to my Twitter. That... I could love that. That's another example. The guy who literally has no idea what it is. He's fucking 71 years old. <laughs> He's like, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Why would they be fetching water when they could be fetching Pokemon creatures? The Pokemon creatures. That's the joke? And there's a, there's a t-shirt a comic, yeah. it's there's a, a t-shirt on his oh. bed that says, I love Pokemon Go. You know what? If, if you're watching this, you would be watching this on YouTube. Uh, put it up right now on screen. Put it up right there. <laughs> I love just everything about it. It's perfectly terrible. It just it's, but again, it's like, it's like when the Simpsons make sort of Pokemon Go. It's like you really don't know what the fuck you're even talking about. Like even a little bit. That must have been really embarrassing for anyone to watch. People who don't like it and people who do like it. Somebody somebody sent me a screen cap of that SNL Fortnite thing, and I, well, I was like, I actually did believe it was real. I actually refused to believe it. Oh my fucking what god! What was the SNL Fortnite thing? It was, was like it was, was uh, Kyle Kyle Mooney, who I think is actually really funny. Kyle Mooney was a YouTuber. And he makes he makes some of the funnier sketches I think for SNL, but they usually get cut. But it was him, and it was, um... It was somebody else, I don't remember exactly who was in it. But there are these guys playing Fortnite, and the plot is that there's like a... It's two young guys, and, uh... A dad is playing Fortnite, he's like, Can you guys teach, help me how to teach Fortnite? My step- my son's, uh, stepdad plays it, and he's good at it. Yeah, it's just like really lame jokes. But, but then it cuts like live-action guys like doing idol animations, it's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> like his Fortnite characters, I mean. It's fucking epic! Let's see. So, I mean, so they were trying to make a rip on how, like, people, like, buy their kids Fortnite tutors. No, well, no it wasn't and... even commentary on that. It was just, I, I don't know what I the thought that was the joke. It's like, parents get it for their kids, but this is, like, parents getting competitive about it now. I don't know. I... Maybe, I, I think it was supposed to be, like, an out-of-touch step. You're even giving too much credit, I think. Zach, you were, well, like, the nostalgia critic right now. You it. don't get the joke, Zach. Let's make it a nostalgia <laughs> weed. I, I haven't even this. seen it, so I could... <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to play devil's Ooh, advocate. It's kind of fucking mean, Zach. 30 minutes long? No, I'm not saying it's a button. I like that. I like oh that. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> my wife! No! <laughs> I shot you, leave him! See, like, they, they, they hide behind cover and they, like, wait for you to come, which yeah. makes more sense. This is probably not the best way to do this part. And they say fuck. Did he say always... fuck? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, fuck. I gotta say fuck too. Well, now this is cool. Yeah. What's say fuck? Saying fuck's pretty radical. They'll never fucking see me up here. Don't. Okay, I think we we've already met past a little bit for saying fuck this episode. <gasps> yeah. This is true warfare. <laughs> when I game, I love my two pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Dual wielding. Yep. Don't why, even ask about why it. Why use one when you could have two? We should make a movie called Dual Wielding Jew. That should be a movie. Oh, yeah. And he should be, like, alone in the apocalypse from Nazis. They killed all of yeah, his family. Says, come out, come out wherever you are. He says, I am the Dual Wielding Jew. Whenever that happens, is it just, like, loading a new yeah. area? No, he should be called Dual Jew. Because he dual wields, but then he realizes there's two of him. Oh, okay. There's does two he also of him. challenge people to duels? He's got a twin he does brother that. who's a Nazi. He dual wields. Oh. So he's D U E L and D U A L. Yeah. So he's a dual wielding Jew. There's two of him, and in the end, he challenges his his duo to a duel. And when he kills him, it turns out that he was Hitler all along. And therefore, oh. Hitler's a Jew, completing the circle. Yeah. I saw a report a couple, yeah, two days ago. I saw a report that said that uh, Hitler was apparently a bad dude. It's like a leak, I think. Am I supposed to be doing that? That's a ghost, Chris. I don't know if you I know think that. you just broke the suspense that that scene was trying to <laughs> I think, convey. I think, I think you walked through a cutscene. <laughs> oh. What happened to these- they all- Mars attacks! That's what happened here. They all have the same skeleton. Wait a second, that is the same skeleton. That's, That's skeleton. proof that they're all the same on the inside. You know what really pisses it's me racism off? Racism is invalid. You know what actually pisses actually. me off? <laughs> fucking- when they reuse assets. Like, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? 
Now, now do a cool like, intro for like an angry gamer channel. I'm the angry asset hating nerd. <laughs> the angry asset <laughs> hating nerd. I fucking hate assets! I hate reuse of assets! The, all these boxes are, are kind of different, sure, but they're all pretty much the same! But look at his hands, they're the same flipped! <laughs> oh, what's this? Since when was the human body symmetrical? What the fuck? I do not think so, sorry. Game designers, but oh you Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's, the, uh, that's the PS4 twins. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. I want to see a new channel called the PS4 twins. It's two big fucking freaks that just go, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would watch that. Oh my god. <laughs> like those two sisters who were fucking made out of fucking potatoes. What, uh, what are what? you talking about? Those ugly fat women. Oh my god, you're so right though. <laughs> you cannot say that they are anything but. No. They're also fucking mentally gone. Uh, yeah, well, they they eat pizzas and pies and they're literally 800 pounds. They literally eat like mashed potatoes mixed with mac and cheese and look into their cameras and go, <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't become 900 pounds by accident. You don't, yeah. you, don't, you, don't, you don't eat one too many pizzas and just wake up by accident weighing 900 pounds. One of, the, one of their foreheads <laughs> looks like a bicep. It's crazy. This is gonna get shit from people. <laughs> what happened to this? He looks like Eric Andre. It's, it's Eric Andre, look. You see that? Oh, it is. Like, and I have no idea. I don't know how that resembles Eric Andre. <laughs> that looks just like Eric Andre. <laughs> See? He, Eric Andre is way skinnier than this guy, I'm pretty sure. He's not sure. fat. He's, He's just not wearing fat, but a Eric big Andre is a very lean man. Is he? Yeah. No, look, it's Eric Andre. See, He's bloated and covered in blood. <laughs> no. He's a builder. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. Is that a real thing that happens? I don't think you'd actually die. Well, maybe you would. That fucking kicked ass. If you put your ear up to a f to a fire extinguisher and then <laughs> shot a gun through it, maybe some shrapnel would go through your skull. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you. I'm a fucking guy. I love Lego. 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 The video post was so sad of that guy getting his shit smashed. That was fucked. Jocks broke in and smashed up his shit. They stole his shit. And he was building this big thing. It was very hard. I feel, I feel major, I mean, obviously I'm not a fucking maniac, but I feel major sympathy when I see people like that cry. I feel, yeah. I feel very protective of people like that that really... Dude, what, what happened? This YouTuber guy, uh, just his hobby was like building like, uh, like, like intricate Lego sets. Like, like, big, like, because I clicked his other videos, and he basically, he was into, like, building these huge, like, sets, uh, like, landscapes, I guess you call it, like, they tell a story. But anyways, his videos didn't get that many views, but, um, he posted one video where he showed, he was, like, walking up his, or he was, like, in his, like, work area, and it showed, like, a bunch of smash shit everywhere, and there was, like, just Legos kind of scattered, and he, apparently some people broke in and, like, stole his shit and smashed most of it. Yeah, like, so... Shit he's been working on for years. Like literally years oh, of work. Man. Thousands of dollars of Legos. What would be the point of doing- You and think it, this was like people that watched his channel? 100, and then 100, 100 fucking percent. Yeah, and they, they definitely smashed it, like, like just to get at him. Like, they, they stole shit and then, like, smashed the rest. But the guy's like rest. on the verge of tears, it's like, oh my god, it made my heart fucking And he said he's head. gonna quit, like, what he was doing. Ugh, this is like a full grown man, but it still made my heart fucking It just break. sucks because it's like, he's not doing anything wrong. He's just like, he's the doing something because he loves it. The guy's keeping to himself, fucking yeah. doing a job, and yeah, it's just like he's building fucking shit when he wants. That's, that's all. That's his. That's the way he sort of uh, clearly passionate, obsessed with it. Ow, you know. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. But yeah, hopefully those guys get killed really horribly. <laughs> they get made. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you have to. You have to be a fucking like an actual psychopath to do that kind of shit. Yeah. No. When you when you when you hurt somebody just to watch them like oh, fuck. suffer. No, I don't know. Oh, go go go! I was trying to turn on the flashlight. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Oh no! He's oh, a no. rat killing! This is a public service. I actually fucking hate rats. I'd be okay with it. If, but aren't you I'd curious okay. what the rats were ra- I'd be okay if there was like- if if the- if, if the <laughs> FBI fucking like ran to the sewers and assassinated all rats. Wait, what hap- what happened? What happened? Um, I'm gonna have to- Oh my god, that actually scared oh. me. 
That actually got me. Holy fuck. Did it really get you? Yeah, the shadow. And the giggle, the little gaggle. I love PUBG. It's horrible and full of hackers, but it's still fun as hell. It's like a fucking oh, shitty, shitty time a lot of the time. But there's just something about it where you can just jump in with friends. There was a point a little, a little pretty recently, but not super recently. But I played with you and a couple other people, like, there's like four games in a row where Chinese hackers killed us. Like, there's no fucking point. No, yeah, no, and the, the fucking guy who made that game, people were complaining. Is he's he like, a total bitch? He's, he's, a complete, he's an idiot. You know, he's like, you're all being xenophobic. He looks like the guy from the IT crowd. He says it's xenophobic because he doesn't want to fucking kick off the Chinese hackers. It's because China is like most of his player base, so he doesn't want to risk getting rid of them. He's a complete bitch. He can't just segregate his servers. No, he refuses between to. Between people, I actually have... no. You know what? I think he finally did very recently. Because it, it makes got... logical sense that you would divide Wait, things you're up by region. You're saying segregation makes sense, Tomo? <laughs> oh, <I> then. <laughs> no, he's a complete pussy. Fucking not it, like there's so many reasons to uh, give them their own server. The main one is that people want to it's, talk to other players in a squad-based game. I'd say the main one is that pings are gonna suck from That's another huge China one. and the US. When, when I join like games like that, I want to like meet or shit-talk people, it's fun. The last time we played, there was some southern guy in the ch the thing. Oh yeah, that was, was fucking just, really stupid. Yeah, there was just some southern guy that was like, yeah, we're Republican. So yeah, he pretty much started off being like, are you guys libtards? And we were just like, like... Like, we, yeah. didn't, we didn't even say yes or no. All I said was like, I was like, Ugh. I sort of like, like ironically, like, like doing like pretty obvious jokes. Like, oh, you just want to kill all POCs? <laughs> and he was like, no, I don't. And I, and I started getting more ridiculous. I was like, okay, is this guy gonna? I was like, I was being lighthearted. I wasn't trying to fuck with the guy who started. I didn't want to argue with politics, but it some, was awesome. But some guy at PUBG that I didn't know, yeah. and I would do the same thing if he'd be the other side. The best thing you said was the President yeah. Trump wants to throw all black people into a big witch's cauldron. No, I said he wants. I said. I said. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was like, why do you want to throw all black people into witches? Big witches cauldron. I, like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then he just stopped talking after I said that. It was awesome, I loved it. I was it. accusing him of wanting to throw black people into a witch's cauldron. That's as far as we got with him. <laughs> because he stopped engaging. Wait, what are, are we- Are you sure you can't open up that- that thing? There oh. We go. oh, welcome. I feel like a little fucking oh, sneak. What- why are we talking like this? <laughs> you know, this is where they store all of the- all of the... Don't say it. Okay. Semen? Semen? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I'm actually fucking scared. Ooh, way up high. Ooh, there you go. You know what? There was a secret area back there. I'm gonna go back to that. What, the lock you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw that with my own two eyes. Well, it wasn't exactly a secret. I'm just saying it because I don't well, think it's it the main been. direction to go. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think, Tomar? This is I think the that's same two fucking room. vats. That, yeah, you you've been this way already. That was just why the H would I want to go? I oh fucking Jesus! That scared me. <laughs> oh my God! They're gonna kill me. Go to hell, you bunch of commies! The real horror is the unscripted jump scare. The real horror is is capitalism. <laughs> this is we're back to this. <laughs> we talk about the uh, musically slash uh, TikTok compilations. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I I'm obsessed with these. Yeah, Turbo, we'll show you some. We should make some after compilations this. of what of the song TikTok by no, Kesha. No, 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 even better than that. That sounds as cool as that sounds. It's even better than that. There's an app called that. What I think it's default. I think it's gone now. But it was called Musically. Music, uh, musical dot L Y. Yeah. Was that and, was that one of those things that transformed like a like regular speech into if like a no, no, song. No, you just you uh, lip -sync. Song, No, that was songify. You lip sync two songs. That's all it is. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen the Rick and Morty cringe compilations where it's like people dressed up in like the like, like the full like cosplay stuff and they're like <gasps> lip syncing audio, and doing like the, sometimes they're not even doing dialogue from the show. They're just doing like weird songs. As yeah, the it's fucking creepy. That's what that's from. That was musically. Uh, but there's also a lot of other ones. But anyways, that went down. I think TikTok is a rebrand by the same company, or it's yeah. a really similar idea. I think a Chinese company bought it. Oh, okay. But it's called Tik... T-I-K-T-O-K. -T Type in TikTok cringe on YouTube. Oh. It is some of the worst shit. I can't sit through, sit through it's, some of it. I think it's great. There are a lot of guys on there who are like 40 or 50 years old, and they're interacting <laughs> with like young girls, and like lip-syncing cute little songs with girls. 
<laughs> it's fucking good. There are some real monsters on there. I'm not kidding. Real monsters. I'm not kidding. No, it just said shows up your spine. I gotta see that. Can you really call someone a monster for singing like... You'll, you'll see what I'm fucking talking okay. about. Okay. They're clear creeps. <laughs> There are some guys on there that that ain't there for the fun, for the laughs, for the smiles. Right, Tomar. Let's say, let's say you're playing like uh, Saints Row, whatever. Right? <laughs> yeah, Tomar's favorite game. I'm let's playing say, my favorite game, Saints Row Two. And then for you the go PS2. to the character creator, and let, let's say we import Tomar into the game, your whole body, right? But then there's an exaggeration slider that exaggerates all of your features. You t you turn that up like four times, and that's what these guys look like. Like, they're all, like, smiling unnaturally wide, well, I, and they're we'll, all- We will literally just show you after this. They're all bloated, corpse-like figures. <laughs> okay. Can, can you not get a look at something, Prince? Can you put- can you insert one right here? Like, literally just one, like a 15-second one right here? I know it breaks so hard. Yeah, there you go. Right there, there it was. <laughs> mm. But that- I think that justifies what we're saying here. I wanna listen to this. Hello? Hello. Who is that? It's me. Where are you? I'm the Come Drop Boy. Who is that Come Drop Boy? I really just made that up. I'm sorry. Come on. Mmm, Diet Squish. Homer Simpson's favorite drink. Man, when the Diet Squish! Oh, Diet Squish is our business! Hi, Homer, I brought over the Diet oh Squish for God, the big really? game! Oh, God, you have a Jesus Christ, God of the God Almighty! <laughs> Oh, Hi, God, Homer. Oh, I also brought over oh, the Diet Squish. Oh, praise Jesus Christ above. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry, God Almighty. Hey, Homer. I also brought over oh, the Diet Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What is this house? <laughs> Zach, this is the worst. This is the worst That's thing. That's not good. Tomer, what would you do if you were playing a sweet fucking new video game? It was like Saints Row Three, your favorite game. Yeah, you stupid asshole. What would you do? <laughs> no, it gets better. <laughs> you make your character. You get your juice. You got your you got your cat ear headphones on. You got a big smile on. Your beard is newly my cat trimmed. My cat ear headphones. Yeah, okay. You, you, have a big, you have a big one up <laughs> Mario detail. mushroom shirt. He's got a little plushy Mario poison mushroom. Yeah. I'm, I'm in my <laughs> yeah. I'm in my gamer form. <laughs> I get it. You're all right. Element I'm and, pure uh, gamer. You got your all smiles and you get up to play the game. There's a Jewish star patch on your character's shirt. You're like, what? I didn't put that yeah. there. Like, like, like it's really wow. just offensive. It makes you sick to your stomach. But, but, you you, delete, but, you, you, but I can't help but wonder, like, well, you, well, like, you, like that. That's not a feature in the game. Yeah. So you you delete and you file, you make a new file. And you're like, all right. You eat a couple of that. You eat a couple of Doritos while you're waiting for the game to boot up again. You know, you're all gamed up. And yet again, you make it, and same thing. Still got little, that. Little, still the little Yudin yeah, star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yudin, you, 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 you star. Then, yeah. Little patch. What do you do? It's starting to get a little creepy. I, I don't. Start... I, I obviously I call the ADL so they can. <laughs> you fucking tattletale. <laughs> <laughs> the Anti Defamation League will 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 hear about this. <laughs> Remember Saints Row Three, pretty little star. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, nearly. I have a feeling that's the kid from Limbo. Because he's flat and against a wall. What do you think the least Trump could do to collapse the stock market would be? This. Like, like, they're like, like, uh... <laughs> this? <laughs> like, if Trump, like, started, if, if, if Trump could just started wearing pigtails, for example. Like, something that would make you seem like he's insane, but, like, the least he could do, you know what I mean? What if he uploaded this literal footage right here to his Twitter? It's a five-second <laughs> clip. It can, dude, it would cause chaos. If you just tweeted the word war, that would cause so much instant- like, If you tweeted the word war and this jittery, like, <laughs> fear clip... <laughs> I would love that. Have you ever seen a video of him, uh, driving with Taylor Swift playing on the highway with his son in the front seat? No. It's a really weird- OH GOD! Oh my god! That actually fucking scared me! That- that made my little testies- I'm glad they gave me a loading screen to calm down. That made my little testies bog out. Oh. Hey! Bye. Yes, I mean no. Let's go in. Here. Oh, let's go in here. What was I gonna say, Tomar? What if you went into Target and you bought a like a plaid <laughs> shirt, right? And you you, you put it over the desk, and uh, the the plaids are all like you know clear lines or whatever. But then the the girl says, "Oh wait, there's a problem. I'll be right back, right?" And then okay. she comes back and she gives you the shirt and you go home and you wear it for like two years. But then you <laughs> notice one of the plaids is just the Star of David. 
What? Yeah, all these scenarios are being how, 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 how can the plaid just be the star of David? And I, it's really small. Yeah, it's, it's really tiny. It's really fucking subtle. Yeah. Would you think she did it? Would you? Would you think she was branding you for a future assassin of Hitler no, to get you? No, I would assume that like a Jewish guy designed it. <laughs> I just but decided he, to stick that in there as, okay, as a little then, Easter egg. But then you read the label that's supposed to say your size, and it says you're, it's coming. Well, then what? It says twenty nineteen. It says March second, twenty nineteen. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, and and the little star of David is also there too. It's growing every day. <laughs> the, the the fabric is growing. Within, within a month, the star of David <laughs> takes up the entire shirt. <gasps> Fucking Christ! Oh, like, I just shot him into a biscuit. Within two months, the star of David has started to. Come Bro off. Eggs. It's it started to come <laughs> off the shirt and it actually fuse with my skin. Rose eyes. I've now actually got a f like. A that's like that's like your cool venom. It's like venom. It's suddenly, like symbiotic with you. Suddenly, a, a, a seven digit number starts to appear on my forearm. I, I want to see a star of David fusing your skin like venom. It'd be sweet. Would you be mad if if uh, if she did that and then like. Like a week later, you notice you had a little tiny tattoo of the same star right where the, it was on your shirt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just, I think my first assumption would be that it was just ink that had bled through. I, but, but yeah, if it was actually a tattoo, if it was permanent, I think I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> You've been branded by a fucking shirt from Target. <laughs> oh fuck! Well, Hello. Why do you think they call it Target? Exactly. Yeah. They Oh my god, that was loud. Every minority goes to the target. This, by the way, can Target please sue the channel? Because it's a fa it's a fact that every chi per per every minority in POC goes to the target is branded for the future race war. We're actually gonna get sued now. Yeah, this episode is not brought to you by Target. It's brought to you by Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, what would you do if your boss called you into his office? He said, "Tomorrow." And you walked into his office. Yeah, what would you do? And his mouth was twice as big as normal. That was the only difference. Ah, oh, they're shooting I me! I guess I'd, st I'd start questioning whether I was dreaming. <laughs> I don't know what else, what other could, what, yeah, what, what other information could I glean from that? He, he takes out an apple, he eats it one bite, he goes, pulls up the stem and puts it on his desk. He says, Tomar, are you afraid? Do you have fear in your life, Tomar? A little. He says, Tomar, are you a risk taker? And he eats a pear whole. Not especially. Okay, that'll be all, Tomar, thank you very much. Would you ever tell anybody about that if that happened? I- yeah, I think I'd tell my wife. I think I'd tell Jaxie. You think you tell her? I'd tell her, yeah. I mean, if anything really weird happened... Even <laughs> you would tell your wife your I'd boss's mouth was twice the size yeah, that day? Yeah, I would, I would. Well, uh, that's, okay, what it okay. mean, that's what it means to be married, Okay, I'll, I'm, I'm your wife, and you tell me your boss's mouth was twice the size. So, Tomar, uh, the, what, do you, the, what do you want to do for dinner, Tomar? You know, the weirdest thing happened at work today. Yeah, but what do you want to do for dinner first? Let's but, not talk about that. Well, <laughs> it's kind well of a, let's, let's get some angel tie, I guess, but... Aww. But oh, that's aww. Just, aww. so this thing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. That's not what Jaxie would do. <laughs> she, wouldn't, she wouldn't scream at me. Okay, fine. Okay, oh, fine. Let's do. So let's keep going. No, no. Oh. It's so. This the the weirdest the thing happened happen at to work to today. The weirdest thing happened to me today. The weirdest thing happened to me the today. Weirdest thing to, what, if, what if she still do that? You so lucky. <laughs> it's not something she. Then, I wouldn't marry then, a person who would do yeah, that. Yeah, but she does it now. You rub your you rub your eyes and her eyes. She does it now. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, rub, <laughs> you rub your eyes and her eyes are twice as big as normal. Oh no! And she goes, "What were you saying, Tomar?" And she blinks five times. And I say, "Am I <laughs> am I dreaming right now? Is this a cool fucking dream? Is Tomar? this a cool <laughs> Tomar? Have you ever seen the video of the guys driving down the long dusty road and a brick falls out of a truck? and kills the wife in the seat. That's the mother. That's horrible. Yeah, that's real. But what would you do if that happened and it hit Jaxie in the oh head? Oh my god, but, Chris. but it didn't kill her, it just like, oh made god. her look like a hammerhead shark. Holy I'd fuck. I'd be really upset. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I- I think I would- I would make a point to get that person's <laughs> plates and file- <laughs> file a, a lawsuit. You get his plates? Yeah, get his plates! Your wife is deformed, you get his plates! What you call him? Not a fucking assassinate him or something? I mean... This man ruined yeah. your fucking I life. get his plates! Oh, <laughs> fuck! He got me. I- fine, I'd run him off the road so I could get his plates. Every scenario we've put Tom on is- it's just basically a nightmare, he can't do anything about it. He's got no- he's no real course of action in fucking any of these scenarios. It's uh -oh. just like, I don't know, I'd be- I'd be mildly concerned. Tomer, I'm sorry I brought that up, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, the, what the, would you do if your wife was brutally killed? Of, the death or maiming Locked. of my wife. <laughs> Chris, what would you do if you were in your swimming pool 
and you were doing backstrokes kind of like sort of fast. Yeah. And you started doing faster and faster and it was like a spider but it was like a million miles an hour. And you formed a little portal and you went, whoa! And you <laughs> fell inside the pool. And you woke up exactly 10 minutes before. What the fuck? So I woke he time traveled up? in the pool? Yeah, but t 10 minutes in the past. That that's the only difference. Would, you, tr would you try it again? Yeah. Wait, would wait, you so he woke up 10 minutes in the past, but it's not like a he didn't go into an overlapping reality where the other him is about to get in the pool. Yeah, but he knows but he knows what's gonna happen because ten minutes ago it happened because he woke up ten minutes ago. I mean, that just sounds cool. <laughs> why, why I think, I I think if again? I were that I'd do it again to see if the same thing happened. Yeah, you try to get it, Maybe I'd go back even Jesus. further. Maybe you could do that until you go back before he did something really bad. You go that back you wish you hadn't done. Would you prevent 9-11 if you could do that? Just Maybe swim, you, swim for you like could. Seven months in a row. Just keeps going swimming until you got all the way back to 2001. Yeah, but at some point, at some point, though, you'd be in somebody else's pool. Oh. Would you not? Because you're going back, you're not like, you're not, it's like, it's like back to the future when you're in the car, you're just in the pool still. As long as you can evade them every time until you get into the <laughs> portal, it doesn't them. matter. <laughs> they won't remember. I, well, I, well, yeah, exactly, because it's, 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 it's... So you'll it's, be going back to 2001 in 10 minute increments. But here's the point, though. You but have, you have all the time in the world, because time's reversing. But if you prevent 9-11... That's a pretty big thing. You'd be a hero. You'd yeah, be... Yeah, but you'd also be how like... How old would you be at, at, during during 2001? Well, so here's the question, though. Are you still aging back? Do you still have your own brain, or are you just aging back? Are you aging backwards, or are you the same age? Whoa. Uh, I'm assuming you would be... You'd be the same age, right? You'd, you'd be a little kid, because it's reversing time. I suppose, but the, isn't the pool doesn't- But you're keeping your memory, that's what's critical there. You're keeping your memory. Yeah, my point is, if the brain's the same, wouldn't it so be- So in 2001, how old would you be, Chris? Like... Uh, 10? 10? So he'd be- So he'd be this 10 year old, who calls up the FBI they, they from Ireland. Fucking, yeah. And they goes, wouldn't. there's terrorists and they're gonna fly planes into the- They World would Street not Center. fucking believe me. Okay, Chris, do you Wouldn't best... they be obligated to, if if you were sincere, sincere enough about it? Yeah, but how do you, what do you say? I came from the year 2018 because I, I swam backwards with my pool you'd, for six months? <laughs> you'd have to research some of the facts. You'd have to give them things that only someone... Like, well, they might suspect you of being a terrorist, because you'd have to know things I wouldn't things fucking- that I wouldn't undo 9-11. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Okay, but Chris, pretend you're 11 years old and But then, it would be so much FBI. nicer at airports. Yeah, no, but it's gonna happen either way. Maybe something worse would happen. Maybe- <laughs> maybe this is the best outcome in history. I don't know. Maybe, but what, what if we didn't it do- It means no they wouldn't ele elevate security and maybe something yeah, worse maybe would happen. Yeah, maybe they would've snuck knows? a little- a little nuclear bomb inside. Instead of what? Instead of the, te mo the motherland of the U.S. To McDonald's. To McDonald's, yeah. To McDonald's ball pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have snuck it into the fucking they were never ball pit. Otherwise, in India, man. India had nothing to do with that horrible incident. I thought India and Palestine hate each other. India and Palestine? India and Pakistan, Pakistan, you mean? that's it. <laughs> Palestine's like eight, 90 fucking million miles away. Oh. Uh, did I just drop my fucking gun? What the fuck, man? Give me that fucking gun, man. This- this music is actually sending chills down my chinny chin chin. Welcome to chills, number 15. Number 15, number 1, number, number 2, number 15. <laughs> Would you like to talk about my mother? <laughs> my mother is so beautiful. Here is a JPEG I found of her. She dropped a jug of milk on my head and that is what happened to me. That is unrelated to anything else I will tell you though. <laughs> Zach, what would you do if Chills went live on his YouTube and he was holding a red button and he said, You've all pushed me to this, and he, then he pushes <laughs> it and you just see a blinding light outside of your window. Like he did, what, 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 what did he do? What did he, he do? He the nuclear- he, he literally just nuked the entire world. It's the nuclear football. I'd, I'd lay on my knees and go, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'd Wait, convert religion. I don't think you'd do that, but okay. I think I would. Just for the lulls, you ever heard about that? I've heard of the lulls, but never to that extent. What the fuck am I doing? Those are excessive Have you walls. seen Che Dawson's uh, little YouTube series where he pretends to cry he's like, over- He's a sociopath and I'm not, I swear, I swear I'm not, anyway- uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love how he uh, he pretends to fucking cry over regular YouTube videos of kids, young kids doing pranks. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a panic attack! He literally says that he says he looks like he's gonna cry. Who's Shane Over Dawson? Jake Paul doing cool, like, dirt, like, really? I guess I have heard of Shane Dawson, I still somehow don't know who, oh, here we go. who he is. I feel- I feel uh, very differently towards him, but he's doing a mini. He's doing an eight, eight part mini series on a, another YouTuber who is easy for clickbait, easy for views. Uh, he gets views if you put his name in your title. 
And uh, anyways, he's asking the question, is the guy a sociopath? So he's basically diagnosing somebody he doesn't know. And he's got this little, um... Uh... Not psychiatrist. Some, something that... Psychologist, I suppose. And, um... This is like the scene from Terminator. This is badass. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like an actual serial killer right for that. Felt so fucking great right there. I was gonna say you felt like you, you, feel like you, you feel like you felt alive. Do you think maybe there is like, like, you know the way like games don't cause violence and that shit? Like, I believe games don't cause violence. I believe there's a little column A, a little column I don't think on the whole yeah, I was gonna you say, are going to be violent because you play video yeah, games. No, but like, do, do you think I th maybe- I think when young kids see violent video games, they're- they are likely to emulate them. Yeah. I'm willing to believe that, cause I, like, I, I, I know I did. Uh, let me, let no, let me, yeah, your kids me, are fucked up. Let me put it like this. I went and uh, saw the Mortal Kombat movie and then, like, had little street fights with my friends right <laughs> after. Yeah, but but but, 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 but that conversation always comes up, that debate always comes up after a fucking school shooting. Oh no, yeah, but I don't- was, I don't was, think a video game suddenly blurs the lines for a human being between no, here's real my, and fake here's violence. My, here's my point. Oh. If, if you're a fucking maniac who's gonna kill somebody, you're oh. gonna be drawn to stuff that's violent anyways. And all you gotta do is look at- is look at the population that plays video games versus people who actually shoot up schools or shoot up fucking offices or whatever. It's like probably point zero 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 one percent. So if, if, you, if you went and found every kid that shot up a thing and were like, all these guys played video games, but then you compared that to like any normal sample of high school <laughs> students. I don't know. You would like find that the odds are that a kid that shoots up a school played video games because the odds are that any like random kid would oh probably my. plays video. Oh, this is like the first like boss dude that I can remember. Oh my god. Yes, and by the way, also I would say it's like it's like that argument with weed where it's like people who do. Uh, uh, cocaine or meth, uh, like start, like also like weed or start with weed. Well, if you, if you're, if you're addicted, if you're prone addict, uh, addicted to, uh, um, oh my god, no, 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 no. If you're prone to addiction, of course you're gonna fucking like drugs anyways. You're gonna, ha you're gonna yeah. be doing everything. Well, you're talking about the whole argument they it's use the for like drug. gateway. It's a yeah. crock. I mean, that, I agree. That and is. By a the crock. way, if it isn't, if it is, it's because it's it's been pushed to like the fucking illegal market. So they're for you're forced to interact with a drug dealer who sells everything rather than just sells a dispensary that sells weed. But yeah, with the video games and violence thing, I think you have to acknowledge the grains of truth that yeah, you should be careful about letting like little kids get too much violence because they might emulate it. But there's, there's definitely truth to desensitize, like being yeah. desensitized. I dude, but like, the idea, but because I feel like the hardcore guys, they they people always go too hard the opposite direction when they're trying to make these arguments. But I definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah, the idea, the idea that this has no influence like an eight-year-old, of course it does. They're gonna start punching yeah. pillows and shit. Play this. <laughs> but like, but that's not gonna cause anyone to go out and beat somebody or kill somebody. Yeah, I, yeah. Probably, I, probably, I, here's here's what I'd say: not Video, somebody who wouldn't have already done it if they found any other like. Yeah, I think excuse. I think that's in your DNA no matter what. I believe I. That's I, I'm a very big uh, uh, nature over nurture guy. I think it's like eighty twenty. That that's my belief. But but, anyways, you are uh, scum. You are scum. I was gonna say. Yeah, that um, yeah. Hey, babe. Let <laughs> the Tomer uh, watch this. This is the greatest thing. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> His legs right. came Dude, off. this game fucking is awesome. Why can't every game in the world do that? What's going? It's the blue blur. What is that? Is it gas? Oh, oh, gas. There's gas. Get out of there! Oh, oh, oh. Dude, uh, is this? Try shooting it. No, you can don't shoot don't. gas in this game. Well, don't do it I when you're close. So. Oh, oh yeah, I guess God. so. That's awesome. Wow. Can you run, are you gonna get burned by that though? I didn't know, He's babe. He's gonna get torched. I He's... thought that was a ghoul. I thought that was like a, a ghoulish ghoul, you know? Like a foolish ghoul, even. It was a gas leak that you caused yourself. If you don't- if you don't stop talking like that, I'm gonna have a little ass leak. You know what- you know what my favorite character is? Oh, what? It's Dr. Evil. He's actually pretty great. I love Dr. Evil because he says, uh, like, like, references to, like, uh, pop culture, like, restaurants. Zach, if you're actually gonna go down the road where Dr. <laughs> Evil's not funny, I'm gonna fucking scream. He's I, the funniest no, listen, goddamn listen, shit. Listen, 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 Austin Powers is really funny, but you have to admit. You have to admit, <laughs> all Dr. Evil is going, ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> no, I know, I'm just saying, that is all the fucking kill- You could write, you could write, a t t t t t t uh, Austin Powers, That's why he's, doing that. he's you can, the greatest. You, you could write a TED talk on Austin Powers? Yeah, you could write a TED talk on, on, on Dr. Evil. 
wrong. He's no, he's really quotable too. I, I love the movie. I'm just saying. I realized recently that this. I was watching clips like that is all Doctor Evil is. It's just him <laughs> quoting like 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 restaurant mascot shit or restaurant slogans in like pop culture stuff. That's Ted joke though. No, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, the joke is that he's constantly doing it by accident, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's just a loser. He's just, yeah, he's just a fucking. Like nerd. it's all that in a bag of potato chips. Also, I love that, uh, can I get up here? I love that, uh, the prison rap in the third film. I think it's one of the funniest things ever. People hate the third movie. I like the third movie I a love lot. it. I love two and three. Well, I love three I the most. I think Goldenberg's a really... I honestly, I think the first one is, is the, I mean, I, I guess it's well, the it one gets, that I saw the longest to go. It gets way more insane. Is the, is the third one the one that starts off with, like, the Tom Cruise opening? Yeah, that one's brilliant. I love that. Yeah, I like the third one. Oh, by the way, I think I told you this, you know, um... No. No. Perry, Perry Caravello from... No. From Windy City Heat is in that prison scene in the in the <laughs> Austin Powers three rap. Oh, that's right. He's like in, he's like in the background. There's like a prisoner. I, just... I I think it was you that told me about that. Because I was like, what does this guy do? Is this guy really? And he's like an extra. And he was in, he was in War of the Worlds as a guy running away from aliens. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's a hard not. If you guys have not seen Windy City Heat, it's one of the greatest films ever the made. The guy's got a great voice. I like his voice. I oh. love Perry. He got this like really angry, drony, drony, choky voice. Yeah. yeah, it's like a very scratchy. <laughs> that fucking actually sent chills. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes some some stuff will what? actually scare me. Really? No, no, Chris, for, you you could be on scared too for reals, man. I, I know, I know, I, I know. I give off this like really, really badass vibe, you guys. But sometimes I really. I know you all think if I saw a ghost, I would clench my fist and punch it. Sometimes I get. Chris, your best impression of uh, Richard Nixon. Whoa. <laughs> this, is, this is a cat, Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never actually. Oh, I, I've never actually I forgot about that one. Oh, oh, two in a row. They double teamed you. I, I've never actually seen the real Richard Nixon talk. I've only seen parodies of him. You know, I will say the future of one is almost identical to how he talks for real. I'm really? Kidding. Yeah. And then, I'm Richard I, Nixon. I think that uh, he really does sound like that. I've been fucking my own hand. I usually cover my hand in a good amount of... Well, I can't do it. <laughs> Milk. I love covering my hand in lotion and fucking it. Fucking it? It's true. It's true. I don't jerk it off. That's what <laughs> That's a gay it. man would do. I just fuck my hand. Have you ever heard that... that have you my ever, hips do all the work. Have you ever heard that video that, that like leaked the audio of him talking about... Is it the next names of him talking about gay people? No. These, these fucking homos, that's how Rome fell. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I have heard that, but again, I think only because you told me about have it. You ever heard, have it you ever heard me. that, uh... Have you ever heard that great phone call of LBJ calling to get his pants, uh... Like, like, pants custom made? He's talking about... It. Again, yes, I think that was... That was you that showed me. Yeah, that. he's talking. He's 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 talking about getting extra room for his bug hole. Oh yeah, the guy was a fucking true pig, and I love it. But see if you can't leave me about it. An inch from the where the zipper ends, uh, round uh, under my back to my bung hole. His bungus. He literally said the word bung hole. I love it. These boats were made for walking. So. LBJ, what year would that have been? He like, was, uh, 63 to 68. I didn't, I didn't know bunghole was even a thing in the 60s. He's got a big bunghole. He's got a big bunghole. Be bung careful. Hole. He's got a big, big bunghole. Big, 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 big <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what to do. Shoot! I don't know Shoot. what that is. I don't know what Shoot that is. Shoot it! Ah! Oh. I... <laughs> Yeah, uh -oh. well, I would. I wish Trump would just tweet out all these segments, just one after the other. With bleeding floors and ceilings. That is clearly a babu. Clearly a shrimpy, huh? I like games with good art design. You know, this game has good. Eh. That was a fake door. I think he's fucking cool to oh me. My. That's actually fucking cool. You should try to yeah, shoot that, like that, maybe. I don't, like that. Oh, I don't like that. 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 I love this kind of stuff, honestly. And now they want you to run toward if I, all if, that. I, if you guys weren't here, I would probably have turned it off right there. I think your giant bottle would be, would be smacking around. My Shut up. Be sloshing about. Shut up, you fucking trog. Would be sloshing about. Did someone just shoot at me? Oh my god. This game is should just be renamed to Find the Great. Find the Great. 
shoot the great. Oh my god, you like feeling the green. That's the Toma review. <laughs> I'm just sick of all these greats. You know? yeah, what the fuck me? There's only oh. so many greats. Don't this fucking show me IRL corpses. <laughs> uh oh. Goodbye. Someone here? What's he saying? Shut up. What's the... Get boven. All right, turning. buddy, get moving. You gotta do that. Yeah, what there, happened to that guy? Work. What happened to my favorite character? He <laughs> was just over on the radio there. The radio. What accent is that? It's like a Minnesota yeah, I, accent. It's oh, like fuck. a weird. It's oh, like a Minnesota one. It is. It, yeah. Oh my God. What are they? It's like New England. What was I gonna say? Oh my god, say. oh my god, Jesus. This is getting kind of scary. I'm out of here. I'm out, you guys. Did he just come- What the fuck did that he ask? He just said check in. Take that. You too. Ah! Man, dog. Did he say holy spit? Oh shit. I kind of want to get up there. They've got good weapons. Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> Man, I swear to God, however they did the physics and the deaths in this is super fucking satisfying. Kinda, yeah. I kind of like it a lot. Yeah. Oh my God, you fucking asshole! You shotgun me. That was crazy. Give me that. I want stats. That this, is so typically a guy. <laughs> that is such a perfect blowjob Typical position. Man. Fucking man sleeping around. <laughs> oh, he works so hard. Sleeping on the job. Oh my god, a man sleeping? I've never seen that before. That man has become another. Stop shotgunning. This is fucking scary. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, it isn't. What are you doing? This AI is great, except when it isn't. <laughs> uh, I still think it's cool. No, I, I... It's better than most games, honestly. Honest, I agree. There's games that are newer than this with less impressive, <laughs> like, AI. It's like every... I mean, none of it's really AI. It's all just like, you know... Do this simple, sometimes. Simple state machines, but... Yeah, no, coding AI must really actually suck a lot of the time. Don't these basically build it to know how to fix itself? I tell you, I I, yeah. I heard about this really interesting thing when they were developing Halo. When like, when they were going through QA, like, a big complaint that people had about the, uh... What are they called? Like, the main guys? The Covenant? The main bad guy, main Covenant guys? Yeah. Just the Elites, that's what they're called. Yeah. The, apparently a big complaint that people had about the Elites was that their AI was bad. Really? Yeah. But then... Like, the, the sort of the lesson meant to be taught here is that people usually don't know what the fuck they're talking about when they're complaining. Yeah. Uh, they just know that they don't like what they're getting. Yeah. And they tried a bunch of tweaks and nobody was responding. Oh Everyone says the AI sucks, the AI sucks. And then they tried just, like, raising the HP on the elites, and everyone's like, oh yeah, that's way better. What, really? Yeah. <laughs> what?! Makes no sense. No, like... People are just trying to be smart, but they're just trying to say like, yeah, they're too easy. Yeah. I see I see that a lot of animation where somebody yeah. complains about something and it's like they they really they don't they don't like it, which is fair. Yeah. You see that a you but, see that a lot but they, like they the, want to sound smarter, they want to give a more sophisticated answer. Well, I think they just want to articulate what they're saying. They don't want to be impeded by the fact that they don't know what they're talking about, so they just kind of fill in the blanks with whatever I guess. But like whatever that's a big thing with that YouTube car, like the animation reviewing community. When they're talking about like why they don't like a TV show, they mm -hmm. really are just like completely missing like, they'll complain, like, let's say it's badly storyboarded, they'll say, like, it's badly, like, animated. It's like, what's well, the bad? No, the, 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 like, it's the poses are what's not good here. The animation's fine. Yeah. Like, the actual in-betweens are okay, it's just badly boarded. I remember when people and bronies used to talk about My Little Pony, they'd be like, the animation is super fucking yeah. good. It's no, like, well, no, well, it's actually I remember, fine, yeah, but watched, it's not amazing. Like, what are you talking it's about? Puppet, and by the way, super it's super fluid. Cheap. Yeah. No, 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 I saw one person literally go, like, I counted and, the frames. No, I'm not calling anybody up. I remember one thing I saw of somebody explaining how it's amazing was that there was like a firefly in the background. Yeah. They're like, this, there's a firefly. This is such a small detail, but it's amazing. 
It's like, dude, that was that's like on a little track. It took literally, probably, <laughs> probably one minute to. It's a little particle. Yeah. It's like a little flash thing, and they just put it on a track and made a loop. Yeah. That literally takes. I did that when I was like fourteen, which is like fine that you like that. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that it's not. It's you not can also way. create particle systems that animate for when you. When people like something, they'll find a reason to pick apart the details on how everything's amazing yeah. about it. And it, and it always works. I get that everybody can have the right language. Yeah. I'm just saying it, it 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 gets annoying when someone's being negative about it and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's like, all right, dude. I agree. You're allowed you're allowed to not like something, but to not know what you're talking about to make a whole one hour long YouTube video about it. It's breaking it apart. Where you know you know. It, it, there is kind of like a growing community of like armchair animation experts, aren't there? There's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh my again, god. I don't give a fuck. I, I think yeah. I think critique is great. I'm just saying if you're gonna do a 30 minute video or a 20 minute breakdown of what you don't like something. No, if, if you're gonna you criticize be. something, you should also be educated in it. 100 percent But but or, but, but or you in, could, in the field in which it exists. But for example, you can still say I don't like this, but I'm, I'm specifically talking about if you're breaking something down to its core and explaining I, why I you argue, don't like it. I'd go so far as to say that if you're gonna make a video specifically about yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You, you you owe your audience and you owe yourself. Like well, a, it, it it comes well if you're making a video about something. There's a kind of a, an unspoken like you're you're speaking with authority whenever if you're making a video about it. Mm -hmm. I also see people ragging on CG way too much when they don't know what they're talking about. CG if it's done right, which it is a lot of the time, is 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 invisible. You, you can't, can't see even, it. Yeah, it's like amazing. That's how good C some CGI is. It's so good that you don't know it's there. But yeah. then when it's used in anime, it's usually terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but but the big the biggest complaints about CGI is when it is when it's animated poorly. Yeah. Like the models look yeah. fine. It's just animated with like 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 2D animation principles. That red letter media thing that he used to say where he's like you, you may not have noticed it but your brain did. People take that way too serious. People will like recite that now. They're like, yeah. "Yeah, I just noticed." It's like, "No, you didn't. You didn't notice until someone pointed it out." <laughs> what are other good spooky games? Uh, Resident Evil. That's right. You you did say Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. I'm just going I want to get to the end of this level so we can Resident save. Evil. Resident Evil. I wish I could do that, make my whole throat vibrate like uh, that. Just go, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Resident yeah, yours is still cooler. Resident Evil. <sighs> can I just save here now? I think I can. Yup. I'm gonna call this one. I would call it a flub, uh, flub, no, sa, da, doga, mo flub, no, sa. Flob and mosa. Yeah. They're there a match go. made in heaven. Let's quit this fucking bullshit. Let's never play again. I've had to fart for so long. <laughs>